I'm Annika from Dramatify. Some of our customers run into a little workflow problems, meaning extra typing and double checking when rehearsing big live and music shows like Eurovision Song Contest qualifiers or on-stage galas with mixed content. So we solved their problems and created a better workflow experience with a new rehearsal mode for Dramatify's rundown format, an add-on to the existing live mode for live broadcasts, streaming and live to tape shows. Let's start with some rundown basics. Dramatify's rundown feature is mostly used to plan and create the content for multi-camera live and studio shows. Everything from live sports and entertainment, galas, concerts, opera, ballet, to non-fiction like talk shows and factuals. The rundown has four different content views depending on your purpose and your role in the production. The first you encounter when going to the rundown is the script view. It's a distraction-free writing area for scriptwriters, hosts, anchors and reporters who can write without getting confused or sidetracked by a lot of inputs for technical information. Another starting point, especially for formats and long-running shows, is the grid view where production managers and coordinators quickly can start building the show segment by segment, scene by scene, act by act, whichever team you want to use. It's a quick way to outline and add the essential details. A third view is the technical rundown view, the default view. It's, it includes everything added to the scriptwriter and the grid, like action and dialogue content, source, event times, feeds and script notes, but also information added directly to the rundown, from camera numbers and background screen to special effects and personal notes. The fourth view is the camera cards and it's a non-editable technical rundown view where you can sort scene segment and shots on camera numbers. You can select to show shots for one camera or several at once. The technical rundown has a built-in timer if you want to rehearse individual scenes, segments or acts. You can save time with labels from different rehearsals and then decide which time to use for the duration. And that time then replaces the planned time in the rundown. The built-in timer is not, however, an efficient tool when you want to rehearse the entire show from the top. And here's where the new rehearsal mode comes in. Share the rundown with your studio and camera crew, either as a QR code or a link, just as you can do with the live mode, and then set your rundown to rehearsal mode. The rundown on their sync devices will be placed in rehearsal mode automatically. Click the play button to start the first scene. Here's the main difference with the live mode. The rehearsal mode has a timer pop-up where you can pause the timer, reset, cancel, save and go to the next scene. In other words, it's made for rehearsal mishaps and restarts. When you save the rehearsal time, it, re it replaces the planned duration in the rundown. You can run the rehearsal mode as many times as you need. And when you're ready to go on air, turn on live mode, even if that's the same day or a week later. As a side note, you and your crew can also turn on dark mode if you don't want bright device screens in the studio. Dark mode works in default mode, rehearsal mode and live mode. Oh, and did you know that Dramatify integrates with the Qpilot Vision Mixer for big music shows like the Eurovision? Import individual acts for like a talk show or sync with the Qpilot and click to update automatically the latest shot list. We hope that you find the rehearsal mode for rundowns great for your next entertainment production. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and follow if you like it. And we have more in store this year for live and studio production, so stay tuned. Bye for now and thanks for watching.